So I'm gonna be very neutral with this video. I'm gonna talk about the good things and then I'm gonna talk about the risk. So let's talk about AMC stock. I hope that you learned something new and if you do, please consider smashing that like button and of course, subscribing to the YouTube channel. So AMC, I'm gonna start off with the good things. If we go ahead and go on the four hour time frame, uh, we can see right on over here that uh, it hit lows of $12.92, right? From $12.92, it also went ahead and today it hit highs of $34.33. This was right at market open. It's a 168% gain, you know, credits due. No question about it. Congratulations, right? 168% gain. Um, absolutely amazing run. As of right now, it closed pretty much almost at a break even. Uh, right now, trading around $29.10. Uh, it's 126% uh, growth. What is AMC? What is GME? Why are they moving like this? It's this movement, again, Wall Street, right? Um, this, this group of people came together, they're holding the stock, there's enough buying pressure, right? Like It's kind of like asking the question, like what determines value? There is no question that AMC as a company, it's not a valuable company, right? It's been a, it's been a uh, failing business for quite some time. Yeah, theaters are you know um, used from time to time, but with Netflix and online streaming platforms, like it's very easy to understand that this is a failing business just like GameStop, right? But the idea is it's not so much even about the business. It's more about the principle and the principle of there were more shorts against those specific stocks originally, meaning that more people were shorting it than actually owned the stock. That's where it began to really upset people and rightfully so, I mean, they have their own movement. They've been able to really rally and come together uh, and at some point, this stock was trading at $72 a share. It went from lows of whatever that is, uh, $2 a share, all the way to highs of $72, right? These rallies, right, now transitioning, so we talked about the good things. Also, I need to say, because people always ask me that or, or encourage me to say, the shorts have not covered. Supposedly, they expect this stock to trade over $100. Some people think that it's gonna trade over $1,000. Some people think it's gonna trade over $100,000. That's the kind of people that you know are, are deciding to hold this. If you want to hold this stock, I am not encouraging you not to. You're an adult, you do as you please. But I also need to make this video and look out for the beginner trader. With that being said, I wanna be very neutral with this. AMC has not been able to do what it's set to do or set to have almost done a year ago. I don't know how much time you have. We all have different intentions. We all have different plans. This thing shut up and there was so much momentum and, and it was amazing to see, right? But ever since $72, it sells off, it crashes, it builds the support, it rallies for a little bit and then sells off once again. It rallies, it sells off, it rallies, it sells off, it rallies, it sells off. And then it has little rallies along the way. This is one of the biggest rallies that we've seen in quite some time, right? It's great to see. Now I wanna talk about why these tend to be so short-lived. First off, fundamentally, this is a failing business. No question about it. Look at their quarterly reports year after year, quarter after quarter, they are not doing well. There's no way, no way to sugarcoat it. The reason people are holding is not because of what the company is, but what the people holding those shares are trying to do. So you need to understand that. The way that I view it, and again, this is just my opinion, I view AMC as a momentum play. Other people have an intention of holding. My group, we have an intention of trading. That's all I view it as. I'm okay with trading something like this, knowing that I will not hold at these overbought levels. I will day trade it, enter and exit when direction is in my favor because I don't wanna hold this overnight because just as quick as it went up, it's known to drop. And it's not that, what the heck, like why are you gonna talk about this thing dropping? If we're gonna talk about how amazing something can rally, we need to talk about how quickly and the risk behind that drop, right? Fundamentally, the company is not there. It's not worth $15 billion. There's a reason it was trading at two to $4 a share. I mean, you have to understand that. Second, 
when it begins to lose its momentum, knowing that, look at, look at its recent volume, all based off of momentum, AMC does great when it has a lot of momentum. Direction is in your favor, and this morning is a perfect example. But just like any other pump and dump, but just like any other hyped up stock, when things begin to go south, they go south very, very quickly. So just like we talked about how much it gained within a very short period of time, let's talk about how much it could potentially lose. From right now, if it were to drop to previous lows, that's a 55% loss. So the reason I'm putting this into perspective is that it's great to have a goal in mind of, hey, I plan to make this much. I plan to enter here and I plan to sell here. It's on you, right? How you manage your position size, when you decide to get in and when you decide to get out. I need you to be aware that that was the previous support level. That's where it was trading at for about a month and a half. So now knowing that, that based off of previous patterns, these rallies are short-lived and then they return back to previous lows. They're short-lived and then they return back to previous lows and or they make lower lows. AMC is a momentum play. That's all it's ever been. And that's all I can speak on it about. They have different intentions. They think that it's going to squeeze. I've never seen it. I've never seen anything like that happen. It doesn't mean that I guess it can't. It just means that it's never happened before. And that's okay, right? Because they might have their intentions. You can have yours. The reason I'm, I'm speaking about this so carefully is because today was one of the few days where after it, it got really hyped up, we began to trade sideways. And what normally happens when something like AMC begins to trade sideways, it's, it's a true representation of it losing its momentum. It's not that it can't continue to rally because it can if it gets a second win, right? But if you see AMC beginning to go negative, it is not going to be a very, or it's not gonna come as much of a surprise that it's gonna head right back down to $14, $15 a share. And, and that's just, I mean, understanding the way that AMC trades, if you look at it for the past, what is this? Even just for the past 180 days, it's been more bearish, meaning that it's been selling off more than it has been going up. It's great to see that it's had a nice rally, but look at its volume, look at the price action, and as soon as that begins to change, we're headed right back to down to $13 a share. I need you to formulate that plan now. It is so important that you know you continue to trade it as, as you please. But if things begin to go south and then you make an impulsive decision in deciding to hold, then I think that's when you can get into big trouble. I also do not like how people talk about how much it's gained in the past week and a half, yet they refuse to talk about how much it's lost in just the past three months. If you're going to talk about how much you're up in one week, but then not talk about how much you're down ever since you bought it, it makes no sense, right? You, you have you know a, a specific intention with what you're trying to share. And I can still almost promise you that more than 50% of the people that are trying to encourage you to hold AMC is because they bought at a higher price point than where it's at right now. I don't care how much they're up on the day. I don't care how much they're up in the past week. That's easy. I mean, everyone's up in the past week unless you got smoked today, right? Ask them how much you're up since you purchased. Very few because so much buying pressure took place during this rally. I can almost reassure you that everyone's average is around 30, 40, $50 a share. Some probably even stuck still at 60. And feel free to share in the comment section. If you have anything to say, show me. Show me that you're actually up on your position. That's when I feel like you have, you, you have a valid opinion, right? When you're up and you're still deciding to hold, your opinion has a little bit more weight. But when you're down on your position and you're encouraging others to hold and you call others that don't hold selfish, you're selfish. All you're wanting to do is to get your money back. And I get it. But my job is not to look out for you. 
or for any one person in, in you know, you know, in, uh, just it's a lookout for everyone as a whole, as a as beginner traders. I need you to be aware of the big picture. AMC right now is bullish. Momentum is in place, but it's beginning to die down. And just like anything, after news, after an earnings report, after a pump and dump, there's the peak and then there's a downfall. My question for you is, are you going to exit before the fall begins to happen? So I appreciate you guys' time. I hope that I earned your thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. If you guys have any questions, I do want to let you guys know that I do have a free Discord group and you can message me at any time. And that is going to be the first link in the description. So I'd love to answer any of your questions. I'll see you guys in that Discord chat. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. That's that third link in the description. Um, and like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.